this is Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's about 7.30. Yeah. And you know what happened? <laughs> I woke up thinking about Germany this morning. <laughs> How is Germany? <laughs> You know, um, I'm going to do the Bible reading. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the German nation has had a tremendous influence on the rest of the world. They really have. In fact, when I think about kindergarten, yeah, it actually was started from a German. And uh, this thought of children going to kindergarten. See, when we lived in Vancouver... Uh, the Vancouver School District, yes, had decided to um, change kindergarten from a half a day to all day. And as a father, my son Bishop was going to go to the Vancouver kindergarten. Yeah. And I looked at him and I said, you know, he's he's not hyperactive, but he has a very sensitive nervous system. Yeah. When he was very little, probably four or five years old. Yeah. He used to wake up at night and I thought he had low blood sugar because it was, he would, uh, he kind of wake up all nervous and upset. And as a father, I, I'd give him some crackers and maybe some orange juice and I'd talk to him. Yeah. And he'd go back to bed and he'd sleep just fine. His metabolism, he wasn't hyperactive, but his metabolism when sleeping uh, would cause his body, yes, to have something what's similar to a nervous uh, or a uh, allergic reaction to sleep. Yeah, sounds like a weird thing, but that's really what happened. <laughs> his his body had a difficult time adjusting the blood sugar levels. Yeah, but after he had a little orange juice and maybe some crackers or cookies, he could go back to bed mm -hmm. and he'd sleep just fine. <laughs> But I thought about the all-day kindergarten in the United States of America, and I thought, you know what? As a father, that's just too much stimulation. Yeah, stimulus. Mm -hmm. Stimulation. And I thought, no, it's better if we just homeschool him until he's a little older, and then he can go to public school if that's what we decided to do. Yeah. But his little body would use up all the available energy in about four or five hours that he needed to take a nap. <laughs> See, as a dad, I think that every child should really take naps until they're about six to seven years old. <clears throat> because the sleep that you get during the day as a child, yeah, mm -hmm, it really does something for you. Your, your brain is, um, well, from... It's kind of growing really fast from the time you're born until you're seven years old. Yeah. That's the time that you develop your personality. Oh, some character traits. Yes. And from birth to seven years old, it's a real formative time in the individual. Yes. And the sleep that you get during the day helps your body adjust mm -hmm. its metabolism, its <laughs> juice of sugars. Right. Now, today, I recognize how influential Germany has been. Oh, they invented the kindergarten. Now, in the United States, yes, we have a lot of individuals that happen to be on welfare. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And even as a welfare family, we were able to make it because I would volunteer at food banks and I had a little business and we were going through a credit crisis. <laughs> I was one of those very resourceful fathers that though we were poor, <clears throat> my sons were of the, well, actually Jessica was of great concern too, but my children, right, were my first priority as a father. <laughs> now, could you get me the welfare recipients in the United States in the actual physical locations? Yes. Of every daycare, <laughs> every preschool. <clears throat> And all of the children in kindergarten in this nation yes, that go to half-day kindergarten or all-day kindergarten. <laughs> because as a dad, I think that at five to six years old, you should be taking a nap when you get home from kindergarten. Yes. 
or have a little rest before you go to kindergarten in the afternoon. And <laughs> considering that this nation's educational system <laughs> doesn't really appreciate the formative years from the ages of birth to seven years old, <laughs> I thought I'd have a look at Germany's kindergarten. <laughs> Now, could you get me those that are on the German welfare system? Yes. Everyday care. <laughs>